Sierra, San Francisco. It's the Cube covering Sumo Logic Illuminate 2018. Now here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at Sumo Logic Illuminate at the Higher Regency San Francisco Airport down in Burlingame, and. We like to talk to, uh, to people that run these companies, but we really like to talk to customers. That's our favorite part of our day, and we're excited to have a customer of Sumo Logic who's come on to tell us part of his story. It's Eric Rognaby. He's the Senior Manager, Platform Engineering at USA Networks. Great to see you. Good to see, good to see you. Yeah, so first off, just impressions of the event. I think it's only the second year they did it. They had the, uh, the silent disco certifications going on this morning. I, I didn't participate in the silent disco. You did not do the silent disco? But I, I will, because I'll, I'll be talking tomorrow, and so I'm very curious to see uh, right. how that's going to work out. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool, actually. Everybody in the same room, you know, except they can't hear it. So it's just like, it's very much like the silent disco if you've ever done one of those. But in your talk tomorrow is all about migration. That's, That's right. kind of what you're here for. You've done some big, big migration. So talk a little bit about you know, some of the thought processes that, that started this migration process. There's always a lot of talk of lift and shift and can you migrate and should you migrate? Um, and then some of the, some of the things that, that happened as you went through that process. Sure, so um, we migrated from Splunk Cloud to uh, Sumo Logic. Um, and at the same time, we're migrating workloads from AWS to Google. We're now about 60% in Google. And also, we've really been um, stepping up our uh, containerization and use of Kubernetes. Um, actually, the, the 2016 uh, elections was our very first time we used uh, Kubernetes in production. Figured, you know, go big or go home. Good timing. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and it was a, an amazing success. Um, I think we did 160 plus deployments that night, uh, which we'd never be able to do just on a VM-based right. workload. So um, we've been migrating a lot of our workloads to Kubernetes, and um, it actually really dovetailed nicely with uh, Sumo Logic because they have great support for that. So migrating is never easy. So what were some of the motivations that that were causing you guys to look at and ultimately making some of these migrations? Uh, just you know the typical technology one, speed to market. Um, you know, being able to serve our internal customers quickly. Uh, you know, the platform we were on uh, was a lot of, you know, opening tickets and asking for maintenance windows for, you know, plugins or change and things like that. And uh, we really needed something that was SaaS from the beginning and be able to, um, you know, integrate rapidly. Right. Yeah. So how difficult was the process? How long did it take? Big team, small team? Uh, so my team is about eight folks, um, but uh, I one of the things I'll talk about in my talk tomorrow is um, find your key stakeholder, and for us that was security and engineering, and they um, we involved them early in the vetting process uh, for Sumo Logic, um, really had them step up their requirements and and help drive the process, and they also helped wrangle a lot of the uh, the rest of the enterprise. You know, which we may not have had uh, input or say over, um, but security, you know, has their hands in a lot of, right, a lot right. of places. So um, that was a key, a key win for us. Uh, as far as how long it took us, um, we're an agile team, do two week sprints. Uh, I think we probably got it done. You know, we got it done within a quarter, um, which felt pretty good, and it was, you know, it was uh, when we actually ended up cutting over as a non-event. Really? Yeah. <laughs> were you all keyed up for the event, and then the event? Yeah, it's like okay, where you know where's the fire, and it's like uh, no big whoop. Right, know? right. So we're here at Sumo Logic Illuminate. So what were some of the the specific attributes of Sumo Logic that that helped you with this process? Yeah. So um, so we're a chef shop, and for you know our VM based workloads and configuration management, and then we're also um, you know big into Kubernetes. And they have a couple key integrations there. Um, they have a great chef cookbook for deploying their collector and configuring sources and everything. And, and we leverage that heavily and then customize it for, you know, it's open source. So you, you take it and then you make it your own. Right, right. Um, and so we customize it for our own needs. Um, and then uh, that was for the kind of the VM workloads and then the um, Kubernetes. Uh, there's a FluentD Sumo Logic collector. It has excellent integration uh, with Kubernetes, and um, we did some customization there to so it would match our taxonomy of our source categories and everything, um, just to make things easier to search and index. Um, 
but it's it's really about delivering for our internal customers and making it seamless and easy. Like right. they don't have to think about it. Like their containers log, and this thing just picks them up and ships them, and they know where to find them. That's that's cool. And talk, you know, there's a lot of uh, you know DevOps is now moving into DevSecOps, right? We hear it more and more every place we go, and we also hear about security. You know, yeah. needs to be baked in all along the path, and as you said, your security team was one of your primary stakeholders and supporters of the, of the effort. So I wonder if you can speak a little bit deeper into how the, the role of security and the, sure. where security plays has changed from the old walled, walled garden days yeah. into really integrating it into everything that you do up and down the application yeah, stack. Yeah, so, um, I mean, they have a ton of tools of their own that they need to aggregate you know, data all in one place, so that's, that's one key takeaway. Um, but they also, you know, like, actually, uh, just a couple weeks after we went live, uh, we had a, uh, a DDoS attack on one of our properties. So we have over 100, 100 papers uh, across the country, you know, digital properties and, and print. Um, and, uh, you know, we have uh, some mitigation at our CDN, Fastly. But really uh, investigating the source and getting it locked down and everything, uh, Sumo Logic, played a key role like in that kind of rapid response. Right. Um, you know, and other things like like GitHub, like seeing like they've got alerts that go off if somebody adds somebody to the org and you know they don't have two-factor authentication on or, or you know like and that's all coming through through Sumo. So they're really leveraging it like proactively um, you know to to enforce policy and uh, you know, and also, you know, for investigation and right. things like that. So you have more uh, migrations on the horizon since it was so easy this last time? You had the non-event on the cutover day? Uh, I don't know, I think I think maybe we'll stick with, you know, stick <laughs> stick with our tool set and, while. you know, build build on, on what we got. All right, um, Eric. Well, I don't know, you got to do it again. I mean, if you're so successful, you got to do it a few more times. We'll, we'll see, there, you know. You never know what, who, who might get swapped out next year. <laughs> All right, Eric. Well, right. thanks for, uh, for taking a few minutes yeah. and sharing your story, and good luck on your, uh, on your presentation tomorrow. Appreciate it. All right. He's Eric, I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at Sumo Logic Illuminate. Thanks for watching.